Do you know where our water comes from? I believe uh, most of our water comes from the snowpack in the mountains after it melts. The snow melts and uh, it comes into the Colorado River, Arkansas River, various rivers, and the vast majority of water in Colorado is from snow melts. What many people don't know is that 75% of our water in Colorado Springs is piped in from mountain springs that are located in Aspen, Leadville, and Breckenridge. Only 25% of our drinking water is supplied by local surface water. In 2002, the Colorado Springs and surrounding areas experienced one of the worst droughts in history. In addition to intense water restrictions that were put in place, severe wildfires occurred, including the Hayman Fire, which burned 173,760 acres. The estimated financial loss to recreation, agriculture, and tourism industries during the drought was $1.1 billion. Do you remember the drought in 2002? There were a number of fires in this region, and uh, the position I was working at that time, I had to respond to uh, fires throughout the entire county. People weren't able to water their lawns, of course, but we kind of used that as a good learning thing and just decided not to, to get rid of some of our lawn and not to water even when we could water. Do you believe that we're running out of water? Yes, I do believe we're running out of fresh water. Why? Uh, it's because there's only so much fresh water on this earth and because so much land is being cleaned over by the deserts and because uh, where surface water is being polluted by oil and petrols and stuff like that, I think we are running out of clean water. Yeah. Water is becoming a valuable resource and not that we were, will necessarily run out in the future, it's just that clean drinking water is becoming rare. More than one out of six people worldwide lack access to safe drinking water, and that number is growing. Shortages of clean drinking water are not only happening overseas. In 2009, Lake Lanier in Georgia, which supplies Atlanta with drinking water, shrank to a historic low. By 2012, Las Vegas' main water source, Lake Mead, could fall below the existing pipe that delivers 40% of the city's water. The cities that depend on the Colorado River for drinking water, including Los Angeles and San Diego, are very vulnerable to water shortages if the Colorado River becomes diminished or polluted. Things we can do to save water. Turn off water while brushing your teeth. Take shorter showers or baths. Never put water down the drain when there may be another use for it. Avoid flushing the toilet unnecessary. Put tissues, insects, and other such waste in the trash rather than the toilet. Repair dripping faucets by replacing washers. If your faucet is dripping one drop per second, you can expect that 2,700 gallons of water a year are being wasted. Adjust your sprinkler so only your lawn is watered. Use a broom instead of a hose to clean your driveway and sidewalks. I use all my excess water to water my plants. I don't think that people should be allowed to have like full-fledged green lawns and businesses should definitely, rather than having lawns, they should be required as public property to actually zero scape. Take shorter showers. What we need to do is zero scape our lawns. We use a lot of water here to water Kentucky bluegrass, which is actually made to grow in Kentucky where they get a lot of rain. While having clean drinking water is essential, bottled water is not the answer. Bottled water uses 1,000 to 2,000 times more energy in packaging and transportation than purifying and delivering the same amount of tap water. This industry is not only unnecessary, it contributes to the fossil fuel economy that is driving climate change. Do you shut up the water when you brush your teeth? Yes, I do. No. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't think that long. <laughs> Why not? I guess I just brush really fast. I'm like, shh, like this, so I do it really quick and I don't use very much water. Did you know that with every minute that the faucet running, the 2.5 gallons of water is being used? Yeah. That'll make me want to turn it off when I brush my teeth. <laughs> wow, that's quite a bit. But I'll be really careful now. <laughs> I'll be much more careful.